All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Beacon as part of the Super Indie Game Lightning Round and for the bundle for racial justice and equality. This is actually a game that I've played before. I specifically played this um, at launch, but before launch, at launch, and a little bit after launch. And it's one of those games that I like going back to every once in a while because it's just that good. Uh, but specifically in this one, I wanted to go back to this. Ooh, difficulty. I'm going to throw, throw it on easy, because I usually get wrecked when I play this game, and I would not mind actually having a run that gets a little further. Um, but, like, visually, this is probably one of my favorite favorite roguelikes I, I have ever had the pleasure of beholding. Um, I'm going to see if I can turn some of this stuff up. Because I should have a computer that can handle these things. I'm going to turn off screen flashes, though. Because we've already been dealing with a lot of that today, and I don't want to deal with it. Uh, anyway. It's also one of the roguelikes that kicks my butt real hard. 7.30? Oh, that's this run right now. Well, let's just do a new game anyway. But yeah, it's been a while since I've seen this. Curious to see how it's evolved. Yeah! And, if you like what you see, and haven't picked up the bundle for racial, racial justice and equality, uh, this game's part of it, and it's freaking five bucks. For everything. Uh, so, super, super worth it. Honestly, for this game alone, and for many of the other games. Uh, super worth it for this game and many of the other games that are in the bundle. But, I don't know. I, I'm curious how, how this one's evolved. Apparently, they just had a major update today, which is... I'm pretty positive about that. Okay. Storage unit. Got some stuff. Adrenaline injector. Looks like my save file was not uh, not kept here. But that's okay. Feel faster. Like a lot. Oh, gosh. Well, alright. I guess we're just going for it. Ow. Did that hit me? That hit me. Do not stand next to the falling pillar. Cool. Uh... So, if you're if you're like me and you like to compare roguelikes to other similar roguelikes, this one's pretty close to uh, synthetic, but it's a little bit more like roguelite-ish and a little bit less arcadey. Uh, so there's a little bit more exploration and a couple other things. Rot fine, slows movement, easy enough. Destructible. Oh, I really appreciate the fact that I can see those uh, marked out, so I can. Oh shoot, that has some range. Okay, so as long as I stay relatively away from that, I'll be okay. Let's see, succulent, succulent fruit heal. I'm gonna leave the rest. I know eventually it, I've definitely had some like really good breaker runs in this game that just get absolutely wrecked. I. Hi. Things are happening. Thank you. Okay, there's a uh, there's a lot of healy healy bits. There's also a lot of these jerks. Here to mess my day up. I do kind of wish the targeting reticle uh the aim or whatever would actually get thinner based on ow. Oh, those things are shooting. Uh, I wish that would get smaller. Uh, let's see. Rations? Memento? Oh, I gotta go around this way to pick it up. Sealed package of Shoriteku Interstellar Standard Issue Rations. These nutrient-rich supplies are made ready to eat by infusing with water using the hydrator equipment found aboard all Shoriteku Interstellar spacecraft. Dehydrated ration packs will last for an intermediate amount of time without spoiling. Phrase notes. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, they might be vital for my survival, but god, these things are absolutely awful. I tried them once when I first signed up with SL and... Or SI? SI, probably? I made sure the ship is loaded up with my own supplies ever since. I guess instant ramen isn't as crash-proof as this stuff, unfortunately. Did that heal me, or is that just... Lore. It's lore. Okay. 
try the bio extractor. What's this thing do? Oh, restore 3 HP for every enemy killed. Congratulations on being entered into an Ask Lepios liquidation reward scheme by your manager or supervisory figure. With the activation of this Ask Asclepios Bio Extractor, you'll be able to begin earning reward points straight away with the elimination of corporate approved targets. Each successful elimination will earn you a painless vitality injection, the efficacy of which will depend on the reward scale agreed upon by the employer. That's cool. Okay, gotta make sure I don't just dive into things. and get myself killed in the process. Doesn't look like we have too much. Now, current build genome map. Here we go. So that's me, and we've got loot up there. Looks like I don't think you can get up high. But I could be wrong. Definitely could use some better weapons than the basic starter pistol. Pistol. Okay, we got loot up above. Check the map. If there is a way up here, I am unsure how to ascend. It's got to be something that I like come back for. Or we've got those like radar beacons. Which the radar. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not one of them. Hey, there's secrets all over the place in this game, and if you know how to if you know how to access them, you can actually get up to loot a lot faster, and get access to a lot more loot than you'd normally be able to get access to. Unfortunately, heck if I know how. That would absolutely require me to learn and play this game a little bit more than I have been. Unfortunately, there's a lot of really good roguelikes out there, and there's a sizable chunk that tragically, like, nobody cares about. And that's always been kind of sad for me, because, like, there's some good ones. I, I think I always put my, uh, my cart behind, I'm not going to say the wrong horse, uh... Like, almost every other roguelike YouTuber I know has, like, one or two main roguelikes that they really stand for, like, forever. That's extra stamina. Reduce speed. That's tough. I'm not sure if I care for that one. Um, but, you know, Gungeon, Binding of Isaac, Slay the Spire. And I guess I, I get attached to a lot of those, but I don't stick with them. Not in the same way that a lot of other people do. And I always wonder if that's like a mistake or a variety of the spice of life and I should just keep embracing that. Probably gonna keep embracing that just because I don't I don't think I'd be able to mentally handle uh, being stuck playing one game for like a year. Is this the game about changing your DNA? Yup. And it actually, like, changes your character appearance and, like, gives you special abilities, like a teleport dodge or, like, fire trails and a bunch of other things. It's pretty slick. Alright, there's something about G frag fragment grenade, probably. That's satisfying. It is interesting, though. I, I do find myself wishing this... out. There's a flashlight. I actually had no idea that that was a thing. Uh, but I do find myself wishing this had slightly more of that... Uh, that really slick and tight design, I guess, that... Uh, that synthetic has. Not that it's too much of an issue, I just... I really... I really like aiming in that game. Like, it's weird. 
I don't usually go for games specifically for the, uh... Oh, did I just get this? No, I didn't. Okay, we're missing something. Nope, local interference. So we gotta, we gotta find a console that I'm missing somehow. Hmm. To roll off the cliff. High chance, yeah, it is actually lurking somewhere elsewhere. I doubt it's over there, though. See, the water drops so you can drop down now. Oh. You're right. New passive acquired. K7 protective boots. Prism protective boots are standard issued for all employees assigned to environments classified as hazardous in the Prism Theater of Operations Guidelines, PTOG. If issued with these boots, please ensure that they're worn at all times when traversing the indicated environment, and to subject them to thorough quality appraisals upon return. The protective boots are designed to give the wearer superior purchase and protection in rocky, icy, boggy, or otherwise adverse conditions, but should be used in conjunction with due care and attention to your surroundings for optimum results. Resistance, speed, and all armor types. Oh, it was a choice between one or the other. But because I hopped down, I guess I just got the boots. Oh, I was supposed to hop down onto that platform. Well, you know what? The boots are probably fine. The extra movement speed should work really well for me. Let's see. Does the gun have a constant widespread? Yeah, it does. And so I was like, I kind of wish this had, like, the tightness that, um, that synthetic presents. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but it's one of those where it's like, I really wish the, um, the... The spread would, uh, would thin, I guess. If you were, like, standing, st standing still. Not that big of a deal, honestly. I think there is a little bit of auto-aim within the, uh... within it anyway, so it's not so bad. I wonder if these things actually count for HP. DNA mod. Three times one stat. Oh, shit. That's good. Yeah, what else? What do we have? Okay, so what is stamina? Is used for dodging and melee. Recharges after a short delay. Resistance. Is duration of debuff, speed is run speed, chance to get a jackpot when looting, luck. Looks like I can only ac access this between runs, so I can't just immediately modify myself. Okay, I'm all slimed up. But because of this health drain thing, we are we're in a very good spot. Ow. Nope. So far so good. Let's grab a quick snack. It seems concerning. Like that doesn't seem like a safe snack to consume. Because that rot vine infestation slows you down. Hello, yes, I would like new gun. I would like a slick new gun, thank you. The other cool thing about this game, uh, beyond the, what I currently have kind of shown off, I mean, obviously there's a shit ton of guns that we don't even see yet that are amazing. Um, but your genome, will, your genome will actually, like, ooh. Your genome will actually carry over between runs. Uh, I think it has, like, a decay. Uh, let's see. So... Will Spears. Five spear-like rounds constructed by hand from the quills found on certain subsets of the Solus genus. Long and lethally sharp nature of the quills will make an effective throwing weapon against a single target. The spear's primitive nature will mean they're likely single use. Is that a... Oh, nope.
Let's see, anything fancy in here? The answer is no. Recycling guns give gives bullet modifiers. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so I think we got everything out of this. I'm not sure how to get up to this one. Eh, that little square area might actually be useful. I cannot roll in the slime. Okay, so let's let's go back here and give a very quick overview. And see if we can figure out how to get into this. Because I see a square area. You can jump onto that thing from above. Maybe, but it doesn't really look like it. But maybe there's like a lower area that brings you in. No, that doesn't look like it. I wonder if there's a... There are no guides for this game. Dang. I see nothing that would imply that I can get in here. Maybe there, maybe there's a trick, but if there is, I ain't seen it. I'm curious what the beady to beep is supposed to be for. Let's see, there's a tutorial option, but the tutorial does not show me how to get into secrets, unless that's in response to something else. Because, yeah, for me, I just I want to know how to get in there, but I don't want to spend forever trying to look for that. I think that was just the tree looting noise. Tragic. Yeah, let's just go up. What is that? Firefly Mound. Destructible. Unfortunately, the new weaponry that I could go for is up on that hill. Okay. Wreck those little guys. Whoops. I'm not actually really sure if it's worth killing all of these. It doesn't really seem overwhelmingly worthwhile. On the plus side, between the slightly lower difficulty settings and the, uh... Let's see, the slightly lower difficulty settings and just the fact that uh, I have the ability to regain health off of killing enemies works real well for me. Alright. But yeah, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anything really worth here, so let's just go. It's an item that lets you boost jump from anywhere, but that's RNG. That'd be a shame if that was the only way to get up there. I've definitely seen that in a number of games. I had that problem in uh well, I guess I had that problem in uh, Tower Guns. The hell are you? What is this thing? I've swarmed. Interesting. Full ripe egg sac containing several live hatchlings. Considerable stress places uh, placed on the outer membrane from its contents means that any blunt trauma is likely to split the sac open. Contained hatchlings appear to contain hazardous toxins. May prove poisonous if ingest ingested or exposed to bare skin. If threatened, the hatchlings have been known to explode, spreading their hazardous material over a wider area. I believe this behavior is triggered by an evolutionary directive to protect the hive. But that's at the cost of my bio extractor, which is pretty much going to be my ticket to success here. So let's not and say we know. I know. Bees. But I, I think that's a single use. Now, if I replace my my grenades with bees, I I could work that. This is really confusing.
I'm kind of floored I haven't really gotten hit by freaking any and all of this. Well, bye! That's what you get, ball being. Ow. Whoop. Well, that hurt. Let's see, it doesn't look like they have any loot. Let's see, the ball gives rare DNA on kill. Yeah, it would. But every, I don't know. Hail Shard Drone, ooh. Subject is referred to as a drone simply due to a lack of vocabulary to describe its true nature. It appears to align itself with its user, maintaining a constant orbit around the position. Even when the user is on the move, subject detonates when coming into contact with any organism that is not its current user. Explosion exhibits the same attributes as other Hail Shard subjects already cataloged. C0X009012. For further details, after a short time, the drone will seemingly regenerate and enter into its orbit again. So I got a, that thing. What else do I have here? I'm not sure what that was. I'm not sure what the rest of these things are. Purple. Well, that was not worth it. I got stunned and frozen. That's just mean. Well, it's okay. I guess. Yep, nope. well, there we go. Found no secrets. Bleh. Hey, thank you, Manhunter1920, for the three month resub. How's it going, Wonder? It's good. I am solidly in indie game lightning round territory this week, and it's. It's weird. It's a mixed bag, if only because, like, I really want to finish some of the games that I play, and it's always real stressful when I don't. On the flip side, a lot of these games are real fun. I'm on fire already! Man, this is going poorly. I thought... Oh, here we go. Read log. I think I've read this one before. Yeah, I, I've read that one like three times now. I thought there was a certain point where I got to like... Mutate. When do I get the ability to mutate? Or do I only get to mutate after a run? Because, like, I don't want to die just so I could get it. But still. I mean, honestly, once we have a better gun, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. DNA mod random. Well, that's a you mutate with every clone, so I have to die to get access to it. Well, let's see if I get a good weapon. I mean, even on easier difficulty, this is still not that easy. I think it just reduces base enemy damage, which is good. Oh, Solus Equipment located. Aw. Oh. Okay. So... Oh, I see. I just have to hit this thing. To call the lift. I was confused. Yeah, also, thank you, Kong Kong, for the 14-month resub. What kind of game is this? Uh, it's it's a roguelike, as is my usual. Uh, it plays a lot like Synthetic, which I played like a week or two ago. Uh, if you're familiar with that one. So what is this? That bubble booster. Interesting. Uh...
any benefit to being up here? Not that I can see. Well, let's go for let's go for this. See what we got. Barrage. Deploy a barrage of five missiles. Time and time again, our customers have requested a product that can be deployed in the most severe and dire circumstances. A device that, in an emergency, could be used to quickly and efficiently help turn the tides of battle. As with any suggestion from our customers, we looked at these requests closely and took them to heart. However, we also know that our customers come to us with a unique take on armaments and would not be satisfied with the passive shield or non-lethal technology of our competitors. Our customers want something more proactive. So, introducing the Kaiser Schmid Barrage. With the push of a button, not one, not two, but five guided missiles burst forth and seek out and destroy hostile forces closest to you. Alright, so I can just press C and just wreck things. It's on a bit of a long cooldown, but it's not that long. And the damage is certainly undeniable. We... That was less effective than I was expecting it would be, actually. I'm apparently blind, whatever that means. Okay, I just needed to weaken it. We're all good. Alright, so we've got an intestinal tunnel. Do we have anything else here? I'm making sounds as though there's something else around here, but I'm not seeing it. I'm going to turn the flashlight off. We don't really need it. Bah! Sound effects. Okay. Is there anything else? Okay, stay away from the spike grass, obviously. Or at least don't stand in the middle of it. Can I? Yes, I can destroy that thing. Cool. What is that? That's a booster that gets me out of here. But that doesn't give me the goods. And you know me. I'm here for the goodies. Volatile DNA. Extra crit, extra speed? Maybe reduce stamina? One way or another, worth. Alright, so what do we have over here? Or for the missile barrage, for sure. Ow. Right, what do you have for me? Quill slivers. Somewhat ramshackle collection of quills, tightly packed together with vines. Their rudimentary, it appears to provide fire shots with the potential to burst on impact, releasing quills with substantial kinetic force and causing secondary harm to anything within the affected radius. Woo! I'm digging this. Okay, I don't really know if there's much of a reason to stick around and fight these guys. So let's just bail. Okay. And then I think we want to just leave. Because I don't think there's any secrets around here. There probably... There probably is. There always is. Digging the missile spam. It's effective. How am I getting DNA from robots, though? That is, I have questions about the exact reasoning behind that. Ow. Well, I guess that's actually less out. None of that hurt. The one thing I will say is... Pretty sure... Yep. Shipping container. Sonic Cannon. Fires explosive sonic projectiles, high damage, slow reload, low rate of fire, self-damage warning. Uh, sure. 
Self damage warning is a little spooky, but I got self heal. Not as high of damage as I was hoping for. Not terrible. But not quite as good as I was expecting. Let's see, can robots not store DNA? I mean, I guess you're correct. Uh, what are you? Stay away from the remote mine. Don't want much to do with it. Okay, so remember, that laser is death and has killed me in the past. Killed me bad in the past. Okay. I don't know what this thing's deal is. Do I have another grenade? I guess I probably should have actually saved some of my grenades. Well, maybe this gun will actually... Maybe this gun will actually be capable of destroying, destroying these. Nope. Wait. Got it. Because I got the Missile Swarm, I have the ability to get rid of these boxes freely. Okay, do not have my Missile Barrage. But it is fine. Ow. I got anything else? Got a lot of sweet DNA. Why is it missiles? Then use the pistol. Yeah, it seems like the pistol is probably my better bet as far as like weapons go. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Was there anything up top? There might have been. Now, why would you do this to me? It freaking always hurts too. Whoa. I regret my choice of Frosty the Snow Drone. As it seems to have been nothing but a mistake. There's nothing I can do to do to that. Alright, whatever. DNA mod, plus three mutation life. I like. Give me all that sweet HP back because, ouch. I believe there seems to be quite a lot of Healy plants, like, all over the place. I do not know if there's actually anything there. Yeah, you're hurt. The, uh... The frost bomb thing that falls me around is kind of a dick. And also, that laser has really heavy AoE. Okay, and I think the lightning is also going to be real bad. Let me see, where am I? I actually don't know where this is taking me. Don't know, but I, I'll just kill it. Easy peasy. Okay, do not stand in stank. The stank is deadly. Yeah, I'm not getting too much. Oh, well, what do we got in here? No. Nothing. Okay, so we still haven't found the munitions cache, which is down there. I see. The reason why it's hard to get to is because I need explosives. But 
But I have explosives. Apparently not enough. Well. I'll do the trick. Hello, gunner thing. Tesla SMG. Okay. Low damage, fires many Tesla beans, chance arc to nearby targets, high on ammo capacity, quick fire rate. Cool. And I'm going to recycle this, chance to penetrate enemies. That's pretty good. Now... My reload speed is a bit of an issue. Bye. I don't know what his plan was, but it was dumb and bad. Ow. That was always hurt. Okay, did we did we get everything from this immediate area? Yeah, we did. All right, so we can get out of here. Would you? Still not finding most of the secrets, but it's fine. It's actually kind of weird. The pistol's pretty good. Like, I'm not used to the pistol in any game being actually, like, worth something. But it's holding its own here. I'm digging the I'm digging the Tesla gun though from purely from the perspective of it is locking enemies down left and right. I'm sorry. You should not be allowed to do that nor able to do that. You'd freaking just popped up on top of things. That's not okay. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, it's a giant Healy field for the other guys. I'm not actually sure if it really does anything apart from heals them. I'm, I'm gonna kill it. Oh! This will destroy... Wow. Okay, this thing's a lot better than I gave it credit for. It, uh... Turns out it breaks barricade boxes. Ain't that handy? 